So you want to learn how to apply AO detail to mechanical 3D characters. Not a problem. Real quick, originally I wasn't going to cover this, but the patrons and members thought it was something that we needed to cover. So here we go. Now I'm a huge mech fan, therefore a lot of what I'm about to share with you is stuff that I learned from studying how they draw in texture Gundams. Mech texturing actually isn't too different from biological texturing. All the basic stuff like hatching still applies. Usually you just use hatches to fill up empty space, but honestly in my opinion it's a lot easier because 90% of the time it's very clear where you should draw the seams in your detail. Mechanical objects have very clear distinct lines, so those are usually the places you want to put your lines. Really most of the time all you gotta do is place your seams exactly where the edges are. Now there are two main tricks you will want to employ to make things look hand drawn. The first is not to completely connect the lines, leave a few of them unfinished. A very common thing that you'll see is even though it's very clear that these edges are connected, the lines don't fully connect, which makes it imperfect which in turn makes it look more hand drawn. This trick works really well especially for circles. Obviously the circle is complete but they break the line at the edges and leave a few parts of the line unfinished and it looks pretty good. Rule number two, do not trace every line. If we go back to this image, it's very clear that there's an edge right here, but they didn't draw a line there. And part of the reason is because they knew that the lighting and shadows would highlight the edge for them, which means they only needed to draw the line where it was most important. Not all lines are equal. Be selective. When you are AO mapping a part, decide what is the most important defining shape on it and draw your detail there. If we look at this image, you'll notice that even though there's an edge here, they did not decide to draw a line to highlight it, and that's because it's not part of the most important shape. This is the shape they wanted to convey, so they highlighted that shape by drawing lines there, not here. And this is actually important if a lot of your work relies on bevels. Anime mech designs primarily use arc style bevels, not sharp bevels. And in case you don't know what that means, here is a standard bevel with sharp corners. Now here is a bevel with arc corners. See that? Just the way we see it in Gundam. Which means the seams are really easy to trace, and you know exactly where the detail lines should be drawn. Anyway, if you just follow those basic rules, leave lines unfinished, and don't highlight everything, just trace the ones that you feel are the most important, it'll usually look just fine. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.